Today we'll be making a delicious seafood pasta dish, cavatelli with mussels, saffron and zucchini flowers. An elegant and tasty recipe, perfect for a summer meal with friends. And as a finishing touch, we'll top it off with a scrumptious fried and stuffed zucchini blossom. Let's get to work! Ingredients for four servings 40 cavatelli 2 cups of durum with flour, plus as needed for the pastry board 2 cups of all-purpose flour just over 1 cup of water, 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, 1 pinch of salt. For the sauce, 7 ounces of zucchini flowers, 4.5 pounds of mussels, a quarter teaspoon of saffron powder, 1 clove of garlic, extra virgin olive oil to taste, salt to taste, pepper to taste, chopped parsley to taste. For the batter, just under half a cup of flour, 2 third cup of sparkling water, half a teaspoon of baking soda, so to taste. For filling the zucchini flowers, 2 ounces of burrata cheese, 4 sun-dried bacchino tomatoes in oil. For frying, 2 cups of vegetable oil. Start with the pasta dough. In a large bowl, combine the all-purpose flour and the durum with flour. Pinch of salt. Mix a bit, then add the water and the oil. Now bring the dough together in the bowl, then turn it out onto the pastry board and continue to knead until nice and smooth. As you can see, the dough has come together. Now, wrap in clean film and let it rest in a cool place but not in the fridge for at least half an hour. While the dough is resting, take a large pan, drizzle with the extra virgin olive oil and add a clove of garlic. I cut it in half but you can add it whole and remove it before adding the mussels. To clean the mussels, remove the beard and scrub the shells under running water with a clean scourer to remove any dirt. When the clove of garlic is golden brown, add the mussels to the pan. Raise the heat a bit, cover with a lid and cook until they open. You can watch our cooking tutorial how to clean mussels for further details. Here we are! The mussels have opened completely. Now remove the mussels from the shells and discard the shells. But leave eight mussels attached to the bottom shell to use for garnish. Perhaps choose the best, largest ones. That's it. Set the eight mussels aside. Then remove all the remaining shells and put the mussels in the pan. After that, dissolve the saffron in a small amount of the mussel cooking liquid. Add the pepper and the chopped parsley and taste for salt. But be cautious, as the mussel cooking liquid may be salty enough. Our mussel saffron sauce is ready, so cover the pan with a lid and set aside and move on to the zucchini flowers. Pick four of the largest, prettiest blossoms that will be stuffed. Before that, remove the green bits at the base of each flower and cut off the stem, but leave the bottom intact so that the filling does not come out. Now carefully open the flower, reach into it with your fingers and pull out the pistils. 
After that, fill the zucchini flour with a small piece of burrata cheese. Being careful not to tear the petals. And the sun-dried tomato in oil. I'm using Pacchino tomatoes. That has been cut in half. Gently twist the ends to secure and our stuffed zucchini flour is ready to be battered and fried. Repeat with the other three zucchini flowers that will be used to garnish and accompany the dish. Our four stuffed zucchini flowers are ready for frying. Set them aside and move on to the remaining zucchini flowers that will be added to the sauce at the last minute. In this case, remove the bottom end, including the calyx, the stem, the sepals and the pistils. So we'll use only the petals. You can simply pull the petals away from the stem part Then open the flower and tear lengthwise into two or three strips in this way. Otherwise, you can remove first the green bits, then separate the corolla from the calyx. When all the flowers are cleaned, place in the fridge until needed. Repeat with all the remaining zucchini flowers. Now prepare the batter for frying the stuffed zucchini flowers. So, sift the flour into a bowl. Add the baking soda the salt and finally the sparkling water stir well to avoid any lumps then cover with cling film and place in the fridge Let's recap what we've done so far. The mussel saffron sauce is in the pan, covered with a lid. The zucchini flowers are clean and four of them are stuffed with burrata cheese and sun-dried tomatoes in oil. Lastly, the batter for frying the zucchini flowers is in the fridge. Now, move on to the cavatelli pasta. Here's the dough that has rested enough by now. Divide into small pieces and roll into ropes, about half an inch thick. Meanwhile, keep the rest of the dough wrapped in cling film to avoid drying out. So, roll the dough into half an inch thick ropes. Then, cut into small pieces. Now, Press the dough with two fingers and drag it towards you to create the distinctive shape of cavatelli. After that, place the cavatelli on a cloth, dust it with durum with flour and leave to rest until needed. It's time to assemble the dish. So, bring a large pot of salty water to a boil and cook the cavatelli until half cooked for about 3-4 minutes because they'll finish cooking with a mussel sauce. In the meantime, we'll batter and fry the stuffed zucchini flowers. So dip into the batter and deep fry in vegetable oil peanut oil is better at 350 degrees. 
until nice and golden brown. Well, it's time to drain the pasta. So, take the pan with a mussel saffron sauce, toss in the cavatelli, and cook for a couple of minutes. Then, add the zucchini flowers that have been cleaned and cut into strips. Cook on a high flame until the sauce has thickened and the pasta has absorbed the flavor. The eight reserved mussels will be added at the end as a garnish. And finally, here it is! Our cavatelli with mussels, saffron and zucchini flowers is ready to enjoy. Buon appetito and see you next video recipe!